it is VBS Office, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use your Android phone as a what? No. As a remote control for your computer. Let's get started. <laughs> So, the software that we're going to be using to interface this is called KiwiMote. So, first step is to search Google for KiwiMote. Uh, KiwiMote. And then we need to open this page. And here, press this button, download Kiwi Server. And it's downloading as a zip. So we're about to extract the zip once it's done. Okay. And in there is a kiwiserver.jar file. So I'm just going to put that to my downloads. And then we're going to go to CD downloads. And if you don't know how to do that, be sure to watch my how to run exe and jar files on Ubuntu. But then we can go java minus jar kiwi oh. kiwi server dot jar okay and now it opens but it's going to be quite hard to get to since there's no icon to click so once again we're going to use aranax you should and Aranax to create a desktop shortcut, and if you don't know how to do this, watch my how to run exe and jar files outside of the terminal. So now we're gonna make Kiwi Motes, okay? And the file we're just gonna choose. Oh no, application. Make sure to select application. So then you could go for the command Java minus jar Kiwi server dot jar so just copy the command and oh you want to go slash um wait huh. here I, I'm a bit rusty on how to do this See, this command works. Okay, this works. Okay, so copy this command. It should be dot slash and then downloads or wherever you stored it. So just take the command, put it into the command section. Run terminal false. And now let's make an icon for it. So for this, just search up Kiwi Mote Icon. Okay, and I'm going to use this. Okay, so let's save it to pictures. Actually, no, we already have one. I already downloaded it. So I'm just going to use that. But, here we go. Oh, wrong icon. That's OBS. But, so now we're going to go brass files. And select R... Kiwi Mote file, so this is going to be our icon for the desktop shortcut. So now we can go to files and make sure show hidden files is on. So then we can go file, save as, and go to home. And we're looking for dot local, which is why you should have enabled show hidden folders. Uh, there we go. Okay, local, share, I'm looking for applications, and in here we can go kiwimote.desktop. Okay, we're just going to save that and make sure, yep, okay, now press power off, and yep, we should have a desktop shortcut up here called kiwimote, and when you press it, it should open. So that's the computer side of things done. Okay, so now that we are on the 
smartphone. Now let's see what we um, have to do on the smartphone. Here, it looks like this. Um, we are just going to open up Google Play because we need to install an app. And we are looking for Kiwi Motes. Oh, I'm offline. Okay. Try again. There we go. So now we're going to get something like this. We're going to press install. It's just pending here. We're going to wait for it. Wonder why it's taking so long. Oh, something's running. Probably just the pen. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, now it's installing. Okay. Shouldn't take too long. I think it's just because I have it connected to my computer. Oh, there it is. So now we're just going to open it. And it's going to look something like this. So now we need both the phone and the computer. So I'm going to put the phone into a little split screen window so you can see what's going on. Okay, so now we have both the phone, well, we have the phone in the corner here. So now I'm just going to open up um, a software called... Oh, actually, well, it's called Kiwi Moat. We just downloaded it. So let's open it. Kiwi Moat. Now here we have the Kiwi server on one side and the, iPh and the phone on the other side. So now over here you can see it has the IP and the PIN. So there's an easy way to do this. And instead of copying it all down, I'm going to use the QR button. So that we could scan the QR code being provided. This is taking a long time. Well, not really, but I just can't wait that long. So, I think it glitched. But, so I am going to take the longer to just enter it. So, here we go. IP address shows here. Uh, it's probably going to be blurred. So you can't see it, but now we're just going to change the pin. Okay, X, H, H, F, I, P. Okay. And now we're just oh yep. Yeah. And now on the phone it says connected to server successfully. Um. So now we can use the mouse, keyboard, projector, game controller. But since this is a computer, I'm just going to use the mouse. And there's an ad. Okay. So now, as you can see, it's kind of creepy. I don't think you can see this, but I am using the black screen that you see on my screen right over here to control the mouse on my computer and I can press I can do a keyboard too so here let me let's demonstrate this um, so that you can see it a bit better um, so Let's look for our text editor here. Oh, oops, wrong button. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to look for my text editor. No. No. I want to use the original one. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now we opened up the text editor. But it's in the way, so I'm just going to move this to the side.
It is a little hard to control. Okay, so now let's go ahead and press the keyboard button. And it opens up a really cool keyboard like this. So let's start typing. Hello, YouTube. Okay, um, yeah. I think you get a nice idea of how that works. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so there you go. I am VBS Office, and I'll see you next time. Bye.